No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> oh. All the chicks. <laughs> oh, this is getting better by the minute. What the? <laughs> Product place, place, blah, blah, place, blah, blah, blah. This is going well. Yeah. You wanna try it again? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Ready? You're ready. This leaves a film in your throat. Just keep drinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, washes down the film. But normally it's a shoot, that was shooting in my face, this was shooting in your face. Oh, right, 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 yeah. We've had a lot of fun watching some martial arts movies. Um, I'd like to watch another one today. Can we do that? Yeah, there's a really great one called Bloodsport. I think you're gonna dig it. Check we've already, it out, man. We've Blue already man? seen Bloodsport, and, uh, and this says Kickboxer. Yeah, kind of the same thing. I mean, you've seen one Van Damme, you've seen them all. <laughs> they like changed the name and wrote the same <laughs> script and got the same actor. <laughs> That's a wife beater with suspenders. <laughs> Built in suspenders. Oh. Why? Congrats now that you're gonna be choking on your own blood the whole fight. And glass shards. What? So what happened in this one? Come and play with us, Daddy. We have such sights to show you. This is the story of Frank Dukes, whose brother <laughs> is injured no, no, no. in a kickboxing <laughs> no, no. Frank Dukes was, was Bloodsport. This is the story of someone Sloan? Yeah. Whose brother is a champion kickboxer mm. who goes over to Thailand because he hears that's where all the great fighters are. He gets in a fight, he gets paralyzed with the king of Thailand or whoever the hell <laughs> this guy is with the epic ponytail. It's a good ponytail. And then a black dude shows up out of nowhere, helps him out, he gets involved in this tournament against Chong Li, who throws powder in his <laughs> eyes. No, no, and then he no, has no. To remember the it wasn't Chong Li and the powder was it was with blood sport. God damn it. He's doing the street fighting in the streets in order to get into this tournament to be able to go against the guy at the end to win the big fight. What? Bloodsport. Bloodsport. He didn't fight in the streets in Bloodsport. He fought in the... Uh... Fucking Lionheart. I haven't seen Lionheart. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh... Hmm? Sure you have. Well, <laughs> yeah. Let's be real here. You've seen, right, I've seen I've seen I've seen every Van Damme ever. <laughs> blah blah blah. Yeah. Van Damme has to fight someone at the end to get vengeance for some bullshit that happened to someone he knows. This was the second of the three identical movies <laughs> in chronological order. <laughs> We're gonna get the Lionheart at some point, oh. and this is gonna be deja vu. <laughs> and this is gonna be deja vu. <laughs> and this is gonna be deja vu. <laughs> there were some scene for scene similarities in this movie compared to Bloodsport, which were entertaining in Bloodsport, but they were just replicated here. Forcing Van Damme to do a split so far seems to be a trend in these movies. We have to hook him up to some kind of contraption <laughs> to pull his legs apart like it's some weird gay porno. He has to really physically hurt himself in bizarre ways. Mm. To prepare for this. In ancient Thai ways. In Kickboxer, it, he has these flashbacks where he's a semi-retarded child who then somehow becomes a killer fighter 
to go into Jason, the tournament. Jason. That's blood sport. Who was the villain in this? Dong Lee. Chong. Chong Lee. Tong Tong Po. Chong Lee. Chung Lee. Chun no, Chun Lee's from Street Fighter 2. Turbo. Who's the bad guy in Bloodsport? Uh Chong Lee. Chong Lee. Chong Lee. This was Tong Po. Dong Po. Tong Po. Dong Po. Close enough. Pretty sure it was Dong Po. Pretty 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 sure it wasn't. Shlong Po. <laughs> they do fight in loincloths at the end. Diapers. Those are straight up diapers. <laughs> Shlong Plo. <laughs> <laughs> so schlong plo for some reason <laughs> i keep saying plo yeah you're really butchering that name <laughs> so schlong po cripples his brother for no reason after the fight is over he's thrown in the towel dong po cripples him and then tears the championship belt in half with his bare <laughs> hands grabs a piece of leather and rips it in half van damme was a dancer in this before he became he spoke a three languages mm. 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 character side there's also like this underground like gang associated with this which had nothing to do with anything they didn't do shit they captured his brother but you know that's not hard he's in a wheelchair they were in the kumite fighting organization right no they there there was no underground fighting organization in this movie blood sport which movie did we kick no kick yeah. sport he seeks out this guy who's supposed to be the baddest Muay Thai kickboxer guy around. The trainer, right? Yes. Like the Mickey of this Who film. has Rambo-style traps set up around his property for some reason, and whose training consists of just pointing at things for Van Damme to kick. Yeah. He makes him train underwater. which mm -hmm. is a great way to learn how to fight a guy who just paralyzed your brother. Oh, Jesus Christ. At one point he says, you need to be faster than any punch. He also makes him kick a tree until his leg is likely destroyed. He only has to fight in a couple weeks, so, right? Both of those brothers are crippled. You trained me for, for being here, so I know you know training. I did get you prepared. That you was, haven't pulled your liver yet. That was rough. We get a nice intercut with a uh, cross-eyed American dude coming in with a gun, shooting grenades blindly into the building where the brother's kidnapped. That's mostly right. No? He beat up one of his lackeys, the lower level. Chong Lee just figured he crippled the Tong, brother. Tong Po. Tong Po. Did he just jump up to the second floor? Oh. Is that right at Main Street? Oh. As always happens in these B-movies, we get a beautiful rape sequence. Which is odd, because there was no actual like nudity in this movie. There which was, was disappointing. The first thing they do when they get to Thailand is pick up a bunch of hookers. And then their friend has a bunch of hookers with them. And then they go to a strip club. That's right. This is Ray Dar. So, what's it going to be? The pink pussy or the kitten candy club, huh? I don't suppose we can just go back to the hotel. What? No! So this all culminates to this ancient fight in some Thai cave. The end fight scene is when this really starts to become a solid Van Damme movie. His chi is so high, he knows where shit's coming from. The slow motion screaming, the flexing. <laughs> you 
makes the noises, he does the kicks, he does the no-look blocks. We get split kicks, that's the finishing move, right? Once you hit the split kick, fight's over, that's it. movie's over, roll credits. No one can defend. No, no, nope. if do right. No can defend. Right? So it is? That's from, that was from this movie, right? That's from an actor. Good. Shame. Uh... At the front. Play with us, to be honest, I'm not even sure what's so impressive about these kicks. I mean, anybody can do this shit if you've got a camera on you and the lights look good. I think you have to be Van Damme to get it done. Pretty sure I can do it. Looks bad. You should feel bad. That was terrible. Jason, it's, it's missing something. It's missing something. I'm not getting the ups. <laughs> I think it's the jeans. They're too restrictive. You think it's the jeans? Yeah, I can't get, I can't get the height. I got an idea. Y'all ready for this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now split kicks, man. Split kicks. I'm starting to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Would Van Damme give up? <laughs> Is kickboxer so bad it's good? You know, yeah, it seems like you have to pick one of the Van Damme movies and experience it. And if you like it, see the others. I like Bloodsport. Um, kickboxer was a Bloodsport clone, but at the end they went in a completely different ridiculous direction with the, the boss fight at the end. Greatly over the top. So bad it's good, but yeah, for sure. I'm about 50-50 on this. I feel like, yeah, it's, it's kind of a more boring version of Bloodsport. Without all the absolutely insane fighters doing stupid shit throughout the whole movie. Without Frank Dukes' very true exploits. Well, Bloodsport was a true story. Through the whole thing, right. But if you've never seen a Van Damme film, you're going to enjoy this. If, if you like bad movies, you're going to enjoy this. It's a fun B-movie. It's not until the last fight that things get out of control. Yeah, it's pretty standard. No boobs. No. no monsters, not as much martial arts as you would expect in a martial arts film, but the end fight is great. It sounds like you don't recommend it. If it's down between watching this and Lionheart, I would say watch Bloodsport. You know, we want to do the gags now. Yeah, but we got to... Yeah, we got to disrobe. Yeah. <laughs> Please ignore your wife. <laughs> you look great. You look great. 